Hey everyone, it's Tristan again from Amazopia.com, the unofficial Amazon blog. And in this video I'm going to show you how to use Amazon's new Send to Kindle tool. Now, as it says right here, um, Send to Kindle lets you right click on one or more documents and choose Send to File or Send to Kindle from your computer. And it lets you, um, from any Windows application that can print, you can select Print and choose Send to Kindle. Now this only works on Windows PCs at the moment, although a Mac version is in the works according to Amazon. And uh, now this page is a little bit hard to find, This uh, the page to download this program. If you just type in Send to Kindle in, in Google, a Chrome extension called Send to Kindle pops up, and that's not what we want. So the easiest thing to do is to type in Send to Kindle Amazopia, which is my blog, and then click on the first link here and then in this blog post I have a link to uh, to the main Amazon page the link is right here at the top so once you download it you need to sign in um, with your Amazon account you enter in your Amazon email address and password and then once you do that it lets you send documents to your Kindle so here I have an open folder I've got a Word document and I can just right click and go down Send to Kindle. And then I can name the document and type in the author. You've got a couple delivery options. Uh, the free one and probably the one that you're going to be using most of the time is the free Wi-Fi right here, the first one. WhisperNet is Amazon's 3G service. So if you have a 3G Kindle, then you can choose that, but as it says here, charges may apply. Then choose which which Kindle or Kindles you want it delivered to. You can uh, select both of them or multiples if you have more than one. This option down here, you can archive document in your Kindle library, which means that you can access it later on from another Kindle. And then finally, down here at the bottom, it says your document will be sent in Kindle format. And then if I hit send, I'm not going to press it because I've already sent it to my to my Kindle. But if I hit send, uh, it just says okay, the uh, file's been sent. Wait a couple minutes, and you should you should get it. And then if you just check your Kindle, make sure your Kindle's Wi-Fi is on, and uh, it'll show up right there pretty pretty fast. Now, if you remember, there are two ways to save uh, or to send files to your Kindle with this new little Send to Kindle program. The first one I just showed you is you right click and do Send to Kindle. The other one is where you go to the print menu, and then you can see here Send to Kindle is an option of the of uh, the printers that you can that you can select from. So if I do Send to Kindle, I get that same screen again, and with the same options and everything. But you'll notice that down here it says your document will be sent in PDF format. So if you if you do the send to Kindle via your printer menu in the program, it'll send it via it'll send it as a PDF. If you just right click and do send to Kindle, it'll send it. It'll convert it as or into a Kindle document. Another neat thing about this is that it works um, with your web browser too. So here I'm in Chrome, and I can just go down here to print. And where it says destination, at the top right here, send to Kindle. And then uh, it works just the same. When I press the print button, or if I were to press the print button, the box would pop up here again. And that's it for send to Kindle. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And again, uh, I'm Tristan from Amazopia.com. And go check out the blog there and subscribe to the Amazopia channel on YouTube. Thanks.